anytime I do the programming, I barely use mouse. So like all the shortcuts like uh, display or change control F1, this is the one. Um, uh, this is something, I, I don't use this one. Uh, then control F2 for checking, control F3 for activation, F8, this is a kind of no brainer that we are using each and every time. Um, things like that, pattern, uh, control F6, this is something that I like um, I know by heart, shift F1 is for pretty printer and F5 uh, is for getting into text elements. So honestly, I barely use a uh, mouse when I do the coding. Like, so let me, if I will start, uh, let's say uh, typing the if statement. So if tab, okay. So uh, like if, if I see like if, and there is a, uh, the, in short period of time, there was a small window or small kind of box uh, saying uh, like if and paragraph. So that's the time when I need to press tab. Yeah. So let me just do it. If, and you see the, uh, like for a short period of time, there was a if uh, paragraph thing. So if I press the tab in that time, it's, it fills uh, the, the whole thing. And um, so down here at the bottom right corner, there is, there is a small icon uh, that is called, I don't even know the name. Like it's, 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 it opens up the options pop-up window which you hopefully see right now. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, 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 I have it, I have it. Okay, so, and, and you, can, uh, you can navigate to something that is called, uh, what is code completion, code templates, yeah. So you, if you go to code templates, uh, right here you can, uh, you can see the names of the, of the templates. So, uh, so let's say, uh, let's take for the first one, okay? So if you start typing, um, um, star and two dashes so it will and it, then you press tab then it this will this will be uh, this will write for you okay case mm -hmm. this is what you can see if, if we will search for if so this is uh, what, uh, what 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 it does okay so this way you can even add your own uh, templates code templates okay yes so this I'm can good be to handy. Know. yeah this can be handy uh, feature for you when it comes to writing the variable names let's say uh, mm -hmm. the ones that you create uh, in the in specific programs. So let's tr let's try to call GV file name. Okay. So mm -hmm. I start typing GV underscore, and uh, anytime you press Control space mm -hmm. on Windows, so then the this this uh, rollout uh, pop up comes comes out, and you can you can either uh, error error up and down. You can choose and uh, search for that, or if you st start typing, let's say folder F O so, so see, you suddenly it uh, kind of narrows down. Yes. Okay. So control space. That's the that's the shortcut. Okay. Okay. So uh, there is a good um, uh, shortcut keyboard shortcut. At the end, it's just one keyboard, uh, one key uh, that you need to press. It's it's uh, it's called Alt. Okay. So when you press Alt, and then do the uh, drag and drop. So you can you can do uh, this. Is, is this what you are looking for? Yes. Yes. Got okay. it. So do you know uh, how you can get into, let's say, um, menu from, uh, from the keyboard, let's say to the program menu? You, you, oh, you oh, need oh. to hold Alt and then P, okay? Uh, or whatever, whatever uh, uh, character that is uh, underlined, okay? So P is for right. program, oh. E is for edit, Go, uh, G for Go, S for utilities and things like that. So, uh, so this is also another, another uh, handy thing. Um, one last shortcut that is uh, in my mind is if you press Control Control O, if you press on Control O, you can go specifically to some line of code. Okay, so you can type here. Okay, I want to go to line one hundred. Press uh, press Enter, and you go. Uh, your cursor gets to the line one hundred. Okay, this is specifically useful when you let's say go to some runtime error, and the runtime error is on the line. 5,000, whatever, okay? So you don't need to scroll right. here and there. So control O is for, uh, is for this. Well, let me just show you. Uh, I, right now I will press control Alt and up, uh, up arrow, down arrow, okay? So you, can, you don't need to control X and control V. You can just move the line up and down, okay? And all those shortcuts, uh, you can set up right here in the options pop up in a keyboard, okay? So you will, there are, it's super user unfriendly uh, this um, this window from SAP, but this is uh, yeah this is where you will find all those things. You can play around with that and make it uh, personalized for for your own needs. Okay. 
So for that, like I'm used to f to uh, to such uh, shortcuts from from the previous programming uh, editors. So I just adopted it to my needs, like this. Um, all right. So like it, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So um, just quick thing, like uh, like I, I just set up uh, in a in a keyboard shortcuts. I just set up. I, I think just just four uh, keyboard shortcuts. So so first well, first one is the moving line up and down. Uh, then Control D is for duplicating the line. Control E for using for the deleting the whole line. Okay, so you don't need to uh, highlight the whole thing. Press delete. You just you know whatever place you do have a cursor on that line, it's going to be deleted. Okay, so. Uh, those are, are the things that I use frequently and, and 90 something percent of the coding uh, is being done on the keyboard. I don't need to use that mouse at all. Okay, so I, I don't even touch it.